essentially episode zero of Home on the RNG. Uh, we wanted to take this opportunity to explain to you what the show is, how it's going to work, and who the hell we are. So, I'm Jeff. And I'm Russ. You can tell by the casual, relaxed way we introduced ourselves, we are totally ready for this. Yes, definitely. Uh, Russ and I have been looking for a long time, actually, to try and figure out a way to make a project out of our love of JRPGs. Uh, My well, extreme love of JRPGs. Although, I, I wouldn't say this series is going to be exclusively... There may be some regular RPGs in the show at some point. It could happen. Uh, but finally, I hit upon this. Where Russ and I are going to play through an entire JRPG separately, independent from each other, and then come together and discuss all the elements of it. A talk show about JRPGs. How exciting is that, right? Very exciting. I've played basically all of them. So I've, at least all of them from the NES, Super NES era. I've played significantly less than that. Uh, JRPGs were never really a full passion of mine, but uh, as I've gotten older, I've come to enjoy them more and more. And with Russ pushing them on me and making me play time. ridiculous ones... The more niche and obscure, the better, I think. Uh, and actually, our friendship began because of a JRPG. It did. It did. Now, I've told this story countless times, so I'm curious to hear your version of it just once. <laughs> um, seeing you playing Earthbound uh, during a course that we were taking in college, and I just happened to look over. We've been chatting a little bit. Um, and then I looked over, and there you were, and you had an Earthbound um, pulled up, and I just thought, oh my god, I found a soulmate. <laughs> and a bond was forged that yes. could never be broken. Believe yep. me, we've tried. Yep. Uh, yeah, Earthbound mm -hmm. is by far one of my favorite games. Uh, I'm, I'm one of those people. Uh, and Russell's well, too. Well, me too, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So our, our friendship began over JRPGs. Very much. Uh, and this, I, I've realized there was, a, there was a lot of JRPGs I had never touched, I had never played. And this was a good excuse to play them. Now, Russ has played, like he said, all of them, yeah. pretty much. Uh, and I haven't played many of them. So this project, this series, became a really good excuse for me to be able to play through and play stuff I'd never seen before. Uh, and me to just relive everything, because I would probably be playing all the games anyway. So now you have a reason. Exactly. Um, for the time being, and this isn't this, this isn't stuck like this, but for the time being, we're dealing with NES, SNES, and we can do Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. It, we're limited by what I can capture footage from, for, effectively. I can um, capture footage for nothing. So. <laughs> uh, hopefully with some upgrades to my computer, soon we'll be able to do PlayStation 1 as well. So that'll open up some possibilities. But also, for a little while here, I want to start with the first game in each series. So, I don't know, we're not going to be stuck with that eventually. Like, we don't have to, if we ever do review, say, Final Fantasy VIII, we don't have to have review 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8 in that order. I think after a while we'll start jumping around where we please. Definitely with the Final Fantasies, that would be... I'm not sure I want to do two ever oh, again. no. Me neither. No. Three, maybe. Three was good. Yes. Two is the only one Ugh. that I've never beaten. Two, eight. Except the online ones. Twelve. I've never played the online ones. But two is the only other numbered main series I've never finished. So, now you know a little bit about who we are. Uh, we're just a wacky couple of guys. Uh, I wanted to talk briefly about... Because we're not just going to sit here and freewheel it. We actually have a, a format. You can't read it from there, which is good. But uh, so when we start off each game, we're going to discuss our personal history with the game. Anything that we had coming up to it. For, for some of these, my personal history is going to be none. But for us, I'm sure, we'll, we'll have... will probably always be, oh, I have that cartridge. And I played it when I was a child. Um, from there, we're going to address story and characters, because that's a very important element of any JRPG. Story is, in fact, the main thing I look for in any game that I play. That's just how I'm wired. Russ has a penchant for the characters. I do. I like a good character, a good character-driven story. 
So you can already tell which one of us will carry which end of that. Uh, the combat system, which I think is important for any JRPG because they all have to put their own spin on it. That's another thing that can definitely make or break a good game for me. Um, gotta have good combat. Yeah, it's gotta be easy to play but fun to play. Yes, and it's a, it, and you want they always want to put their own spin on it. They always want to make it something different, something special. And sometimes that works out, and other times and challenging. It's gotta be challenging for someone that's played so many JRPGs. Well, and especially since combat is something that happens nonstop during an RPG. Like that's yeah. the main element of a JRPG is the combat. So it needs to be enthralling. I mean, it Very has much. to be. Uh, innovations, this is where we just talk about uh, anything that's kind of unique to that game. Features that they use that you don't necessarily see somewhere else. Maybe the first time a particular feature was used. Anything that stands out is different. Uh, music's going to be a rough one for us. I tend to be into music in games. I'm not, I don't know a lot about a lot about music in general, but I do know when I like the soundtrack. <laughs> or when I don't. I, I know even less about music than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I probably have to have a whole lot to offer in the music category, so that'll, that'll be fun for us to struggle on a topic we don't know that much about. Uh, and then lastly would be final thoughts, which is just a, a summation of our feelings for the game, a way for us to fit in anything else that we've forgotten to mention about the game that stood out to us. So that's it. Uh, I, I feel pretty confident that that covers all the major aspects of any game. I do too. Yeah. And definitely. adding a little structure to the conversation will probably prevent us from rambling on endlessly as Russ and I can do when we're together. <laughs> we usually ramble on endlessly. Yes. So, did you have anything else you wanted to add before we wrap up the intro here? No, I think we're about ready for our, for our first review. Alright, so the next time you guys see us together, we will be reviewing the Game Boy game, Great Greed, yes. which you've never heard of, <laughs> and never will again unless, after we review it. Unless you're me, and then you heard about it when you were about 10, and you still own the original cartridge. So. I can't believe I found somebody else who'd ever heard of this game. Yeah. That, if nothing else, made this project a necessity. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you. Hi, I'm Luke Bryan, two-time CMA Entertainer of the Year. If I ever learn how to read, I'm going to read The Great Platypus Caper by Jeff Hillary because I believe in supporting fine literature. I'm Luke Bryan. Hi. As soon as Russ figures out how to sit down, <laughs> that's not how a couch works, Russ. <laughs> Don't ever look at the screen because you'll look slightly retarded, as opposed to now. Oh, dear God! What have I settled myself with? All right. How did you not know this was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Jeff. <laughs> I'm Francisca. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm done. I'm over it now. I'm sorry. I'm over it. <laughs> Alright. I did not know I'm <laughs>